Welcome. Thanks for joining me today. I'm here to talk to you about Apigee and AppSheet, Google Cloud's market-leading technologies for API management and no code. My name is Vikas Anand. I'm head of business application platform product, which includes both of these technologies. And it gives me immense pleasure to introduce you to uh, Thomas and Matteo from Carrefour who are joining me to talk about how they are using our technology to enable their business. Welcome Thomas and Matteo. And we'll be uh, covering the customer case study towards the end of the session. So uh, let's start. So I'm gonna talk about three things. One is the trends. Number two is a little bit about product and strategy. And third is our vision. We have been in the pandemic for the last two years. However, digital transformation kicked in much before that. The pandemic only accelerated uh, the adoption of digital transformation in a very, very aggressive and accelerated way. Uh, it's not uncommon for you to make you know, your doctor's appointments today and actually see them through telehealth unless you really need to visit them. Uh, you know, we are all doing a lot of cashless transactions, so you can really see that 57% drop in cash usage is real today. And all of this is actually happening uh, across different verticals, whether it's retail, telco, fintech, and others, and is powered by APIs. APIs are encapsulating data in a secure way. APIs are encapsulating and providing business processes in a secure way, and they're offering it to consumers in experiences like never before. That's the power of the API. Obviously, with all of these APIs being prevalent in the enterprise and, uh, and, and being used by everyone, there's a significant need to manage these APIs. And that's where Apigee comes in. We have been a leader and we defined the space of API management and we continue to invest in this area. So before we talk about our investments and, and, and areas of focus, let me take a minute to introduce you to the platform. API management, full lifecycle capabilities are offered by Apigee. Whether it's you know, the capabilities to enable our customers to scale with the runtime, uh, which can scale to hundreds and millions and trillions of API calls. Uh, and of course, as APIs become more pervasive, our customers continue to be concerned with security. So we have a big focus here to prevent abuse and, and really invest in the security needs for API management, offer analytics both from a lens of technology, uh, you know, uh, IT as well as business so that you can optimize the outcomes from an API perspective. And of course, continue to offer rich capabilities for developers so that they can create APIs, meaningful APIs with a business outcome and API first strategy in focus, but also be able to consume APIs to, uh, to be able to monetize uh, and extend their business processes. So, uh, you know, API management with Apigee, market leading capabilities, something which we're really uh, excited of continuing to invest and innovate uh, on an almost daily basis. And this is reflected in some of the capabilities that we've announced over the last one year. We have continued to innovate and invest and offer capabilities, not only in the code Apigee and the API management product capabilities, but we've also brought the best of Google Cloud capabilities to be available to our customers through Apigee. As an example, use of AI and ML for anomaly detection or the capability of global and scale and performance by leveraging Cloud CDN and Apigee together. All of this is you know, the continued innovation examples that we are focused on. What we're also doing is on a regular basis, we are looking at areas in the future that we can really help our customers through thought leadership, but also studying the evolving needs of our customers. So API management needs are evolving uh, and it's been serving different personas over the last decade. In fact, uh, Apigee can take credit for coining the term API product manager. Uh, we've talked about to you in the past the needs of API developers and API architects uh, and their needs span from governance uh, for the architect to flexibility to the API product manager looking at more of ROI. And of course, API consumers needs for ease of use. Today, we're introducing new personas, uh, API platform operator and API platform uh, you know, security uh, persona, which is API security operator. 
And these two personas are primarily focused on two things. One is efficiency for managing operations of the platform. And second is to really prevent and protect against malicious attacks and ensure compliance. And these are the drivers in terms of how we focus and innovate and invest for our futures uh, as we look at the evolving needs of these personas as well. So from a future perspective, we are focused on pivoting our customers from digital transformation to a theme of digital excellence, from building APIs to API products, from API products to helping them monetize and make profitable API products. And we are focused on four things to help our customers with that. Number one, uh, add more capabilities for developers to be successful when they're building APIs. Number two is to enable the hyperscale as scale of API programs uh, occur across the globe. Uh, simplify application operations with API operations with AI. And finally, Apigee is used by retail, telco, fintech, and healthcare customers. And we want to bring the best of industry capabilities in our platform so that you can consume it easily. So that's a big focus for us. Uh, and recently, uh, to this effect, we've announced some capabilities for the developers. Uh, you know, for API developers, we've announced API first integration with uh, capabilities with Apigee integration. Uh, you know, we are continuously enhancing the support for GraphQL. You know, developers are looking for support for non-RESTful APIs, and here it is. And of course, more enhancements for SDLC. Apigee integration, as an example, is really focused on enabling API developers to connect systems of engagement to systems of record in an accelerated path, in an API-first approach. Uh, so all of this is happening in the unified platform, which we call as Apigee. Uh, we bring in a purpose-built runtime with global integration technology at Google scale, offering the patterns of integration, something which we are really proud about and excited about to introduce you to it. And of course, there's a dedicated session. Please go and listen to that, and you'll also see a demo of Apigee integration during that session. But we are not just stopping here. This is the focus we have on technology, uh, that, you know, uh, on the developers. Uh, we do realize that our customers are also looking to solve uh, new challenges with the changing environment. Today, the, the global workforce is changing, and it's all about enabling even the non-technical line of business users to be able to solve problems by themselves. This is top of mind for CIOs, CEOs, and CTOs uh, to enable a broader set of employees within the organization to be able to manage, build, uh, and, and, and use applications that they, 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 they need. Uh, and uh, to do that, we have AppSheet, uh, AppSheet is a product which basically enables line of business users to build applications with no code. You take an idea, uh, enable a data source, create an application on automation in minutes. And how we do this is really interesting. Uh, we really focused on making work easier for everyone by doing three things. One is converging app automation and communication uh, for the end user. Number two is enabling an intent-based platform for building application and automation seamlessly. Three is an intelligent policy-driven framework so that IT can govern these applications and prevent shadow IT. A good example of how the app automation and communication is converging is the integration that we've done with Gmail. Uh, you know, you can use AppSheet in Gmail today with dynamic emails. Let me take a quick example uh, for an order process for say ordering furniture by an employee. Uh, when I order a table, it should go to my manager for approval so that he can check his budget and approve it in the context of budget and whatever I'm allowed to do so. So uh, this business process can be implemented quickly in AppSheet, including a mobile application. And now you can surface that app in Gmail uh, for the manager to go and look at the details of the order and approve it. A seamless integration that AppSheet has done with Gmail. And it's available to millions of Gmail users uh, who can now start using AppSheet and build these applications together. So uh, we're not only stopping there, we're continuing to invest for the creator as well as for IT. Uh, for creators, we're focused on two things, making the platform much more intent aware. So there's predictability and smart suggestions, whether you're building an app and automation. Number two is imagine a world where a line of business user can actually talk to a platform and the platform creates an application for you. So here we are utilizing natural language processing throughout the app creation experience so that you can set logic, bots, or build applications from scratch. Uh, really powerful capability we're excited about. 
pivoting to the IT needs, you know, it's really important to enable and unlock org-wide innovation. But for that, you need trust, control, and scale. And that's a big focus area for AppSheet where we are offering capabilities under three uh, under these three buckets. With AppSheet, you can standardize app and automation. You can do it with controls, which can allow you to put guardrails for governance and visibility. And three, you can scale these apps from 10, 20 to thousands of users uh, with our platform. And now uh, I think I have a great story and an example with Carrefour talking to us about how they're using our platform to enable application innovation in their ecosystem. So with that said, let me uh, bring uh, Matteo and Thomas, uh, our customer spotlight, who will talk about their, their story. Uh, Matteo and Thomas, take it away. Hi, I'm Matteo Moraz, the CTO of Careful Property. Hi. I'm Thomas, leading the innovation team in Carmela. Before speaking about our use of AppSheet, just a few words about our context and the business of Carmela and Careful Property. Carmela is the third largest listed owner of commercial property in Europe. It was founded by Carrefour in 2014 in order to transform and end the value of 215 shopping centers adjoining Carrefour hypermarket in France, Spain, and Italy. Carmilla and Careful Properties team have a deeply anchored retail culture with experts in all aspects of retail attractiveness, operation, shopping center management, leasing, local digital marketing, business setups, and CSR. These experts, about 300 people, spend lots of their time on the spot in the shopping mall in order to solve any incident, animate the center, or coordinate the works. To be efficient, these experts have to work together and share reliable and precise information. In a traditional way, this job might be quite difficult because of the number of centers, a data which is not centralized, and many end-region reports. But during the first containment, I discovered AppSheet, and so all these platforms can quickly digitize many of our processes. I presented AppSheet to my management, who also sought interest and wanted to test it with incident management. We made a short brief of 15 minutes to understand the needs. And in only two days and one developer, we managed to do an application with AppSheet accessible in production by 200 people directly on their phone. In this app, anyone can log an incident that happened in the shopping centers with a description and a picture. And then there is a workflow which automatically sends email notifications to the people in charge until the problem is solved. It was really amazing, and this application still works and is still used by Careful Property and Camilla team every day. We have just created in two days a way to manage effectively in real time all the incidents of our shopping mall. As it's possible to, uh, with AppSheet to develop in a few words or a few days an application in production, you can really change your mind and make software adapted to the reality of business, which is often unpredictable. You can create apps with a limit lifetime, sometimes only a few weeks, as we made it for the COVID. With AppSheet, you adapt IT tools to the business, not the reverse. It's the reason why we have decided to, for one year to use AppSheet to collect all the local data by creating many apps accessible from a unique portal we call MyMall. Therefore, it's very easy to create a dashboard with Data Studio link it to this data, and at the end, you can easily and quickly collect, monitor, and analyze all its incidents in order to define priorities. Let's see what are the results now. Uh, the most important thing you can see is that people are still on board. French and Spanish uh, field teams uh, continue to save uh, money, to save time each day. Each day, the impact of actions plans are monitored thanks to the local data connected by, collected by my mall. But the real uh, revolution noticed isn't operational. It's a mindset change. Now, at home, in our uh, shopping centers, we 
all know that we can digitally digitalize and any kind of process without pain collaborating with the IT team. So, uh, as Mathieu uh, has said, uh, today the Carmilla and Carrefour uh, property uh, teams already can use the master app MyMall. You can see it to uh, manage incidents, uh, to manage the impact of COVID, to make uh, technical checklists, uh, to improve facility and uh, property management, and to produce easily uh, marketing reports by using the functionality of AppSheet to produce PDF, PDF reports from a Google Doc template. And we are working on many other features. You can see some of them. I can highlight the report creator, which is a very shared pain in our company, in most of companies, I think. And to conclude, I thank all the Google team for this opportunity to show off Carmilla and Cafu property. And I want to share you my conviction. Uh, the no-code platform or the low-code platform, I, I prefer, uh, do not encourage shadow IT. On the contrary, they help us, IT teams, innovat innovation teams, and field teams uh, they help us to test fast, to fail fast, to learn, to always learn, actually to innovate. Thank you very much uh, for being part of this presentation. Thank you for listening to this use case. I hope we will be convinced by the interest of local platform. Thank you. Thank you, Matteo. Thank you, Thomas, for that amazing story of using AppSheet and Google Cloud technology in Carrefour. What a wonderful story. I'm sure our listeners enjoyed it thoroughly. Well, with that, we'd actually had to wrap. Uh, and just to bring it all together, we talked about Apigee and AppSheet in our session today. And all of this is a part of our Google Cloud business application platform, where we are really focused on enabling our customers uh, you know, deliver their innovation through application development and automation. And we are doing this by, of course, investing in our core platform with Apigee and AppSheet that you heard today, but also through partnerships. We announced a partnership with Automation Anywhere earlier in the year. Automation Anywhere is a market leading capability in RTA, and we're working along with them to build, bring out, you know, broader set of capabilities for you uh, to use in your ecosystem to help solve you uh, a broader set of business problems. And of course, as business processes are built out, analytics are really important. So we continue to do integrations with uh, Data Studio uh, and of course our in analytics platform uh, to enable that uh, for our line of business users as well. So bringing it all together in Google's Google Cloud Business Application Platform, uh, it's a wrap. Uh, thank you so much for listening in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our customer case study and of course all the content that we shared you, with you today. Uh, thank you again. And uh, I wish you a happy next. Uh, and thank you.